Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. My name is Peter and today we're going to start the chassis prep on the BRZ for the K-Power K24 swap. Uh, so it's been a long time since I ordered the kit. I waited basically all through winter because I didn't feel like working in the garage freezing my ass off and laying on the floor. So it's time to get started. Uh, as you can see, we got the car in the background here. And uh, yeah, we're going to basically walk through the chassis prep part of the installation guide today. And I'm just going to go film it all and see what it's all about. Uh, let's get to it. So basically the first part that I need to do here is essentially take the factory strut brace brackets off according to this installation guide thank you k-power for the lovely detailed guide um, and basically that's gonna correspond to these things right here we'll zoom in I gotta take those things off and uh, once I take those things off uh, I'll move on to the next step so yeah Okay, so this is what the cable looks like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and chop this harness off. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Looks like I got this clip off. Uh, hopefully I didn't damage this wiring harness when I tried taking it off. So. Uh, yeah, we'll find out when we go ahead and install this, so I'm on to the next step already. Yo, what's up everybody? Day two of the K-Swap. I'm here after work. Uh, I just got out. I am now trying to install this alternator extension cable. And, uh, unfortunately, I had some issues getting some screws to fit. So, uh, as we can kind of see here it's uh, kind of a pain in the ass it doesn't really go in very smoothly so I originally bought these bolts um, these bolts didn't fit because the head so I had to go and buy these bolts instead and it looks like this one will fit so uh, for those who need reference it's an m6 by one and pretty much get that type of head so that way it clears be able to basically screw this in right down there and uh, we should be good to go. Oh goody. The next step is basically getting out my big sledgehammer and smashing these spaces where the motor mounts go. So I have to flatten these tabs here. Um, and that basically corresponds to this tab here, I gotta flatten that out, and then I also gotta flatten that out. So I'm basically gonna go get my sledgehammer and start smashing away. Here goes nothing. That was pretty easy. I was expecting that to be a lot harder, but it's pretty flat now. I'm gonna zoom in on that a little bit. You can see that's uh, pretty flat. I'm gonna move on to the next one. So we got those pretty flat. Uh, I had a bang right here. Pretty flat. Probably will paint that up a little bit because it did chip. Same thing with this side. 
chipped a little bit here, but yeah, kind of that flat, so uh, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just keep moving on to the next step, but uh, I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult, so sweet, on to the next thing. All right, so the next thing it looks like that I gotta do is, so I smashed these tabs on the engine mounts, uh, or the motor mounts, and then looks like the next thing I have to do is do some more smashing right where this section is at. So if I'm not mistaken, that section looks like it's like somewhere over here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to figure this out. Let me see if I can brighten this up too. Um, yeah, it looks like I gotta hit it somewhere like right there or something like that underneath maybe like right around this area so I'm gonna go ahead and start smashing away for that one too What's up everybody, welcome to day three. All I have to do today is cut the transmission tunnel uh, so that way I have more room for the transmission to sit. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. All I need to do is go get an angle grinder um, and then stuff a, a scissor jack in there and spread the tunnel a little bit so that way uh, everything fits. So uh, let's get started. So this is essentially the part that I have to cut. Notice that little square notch in the right here. Um, I have to make a little slit right in front of that and then push that whole section in. Uh, once I have that whole section in, basically the chassis is all done being prepped and I can start working on putting the motor back in the car. Yo, what's up dude? So we're underneath the car here. I'm going to cut this. Yes, I can fit underneath here. Kind of surprising actually. Um, I'm going to cut this so that way I'm not sitting here like this for a while. So we're going to cut this piece right here. Then just push this piece in so that way we'll get the, the drivetrain to fit. Just spent a good like two or three hours underneath the car basically freaking using my Dremel and my scissor jack trying to spread uh, the transmission tunnel and I'm debating on just cutting the piece out but I'm a bit worried about the structural integrity I posted it in the Facebook so I don't know by the time I make this video it's probably gonna be too late anyways but in any case uh, I'm still debating whether or not if I want to keep at it or just leave it and hope that it doesn't rub anything or it doesn't vibrate anywhere so I don't know, we'll see. And I'll give a close-up shot of what it looks like right now. There it is. So you can kind of see that I kind of cut a slit on the side there, as well as the bottom to help push it in more. Um, it's really tough to tell from the pictures in the instruction manual versus what I have here, if it's clearance enough. Um, I don't know. Comment below in the comment section whether you think this is going to make noise and vibrate or not. Uh, let me know but hopefully it doesn't. Yo, what's up everybody? So that basically wraps up today. Uh, I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I still got one more thing to do. I just gotta bend the fuel rail cover a little bit um, on the chassis so that way it makes some more space and some more clearance. Uh, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. It's getting dark, um, I'm cold, and I got no heat in my garage. So um, let's get back to this tomorrow. So I'll see you then. <laughs> 